An advisor to the operator that crippled Fukushima Daiichi has called on the company to do more to make sure the decommissioning work is done safely. Tokyo Electric Power Company has asked a panel of experts to monitor its efforts in the wake of the nuclear accident three years ago. Utility officials explained they had experienced a series of problems with a system designed to remove radioactive substances from contaminated water. Officials said they have yet to escape the vicious circle of relying on makeshift systems, which often lead to new troubles. Former U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission Chairman Dale Klein said the staff at the Fukushima Daiichi plant lacks a culture of safety. This lack of a nuclear safety culture is demonstrated by you not expecting the unexpected. Executives at the company said they will seek expertise from abroad to improve their work in Fukushima Daiichi's unique circumstances. It is the first of the fifth, 2014. This is your radioactive reality. Day number 1,147. Any news? San Francisco Chronicle, unbelievable hordes of fish near California coast. Most birds, sea lions, dolphins, whales, anywhere. Expert off the charts, pelican population, highly unusual, could reflect breeding failures elsewhere. Abnormal ocean conditions to blame, question mark? What are all these things running from? and they're all accumulating, being pushed up against the coast. Now there's another story coming out of Australia uh, about an ocean temperature anomaly and how the ocean has fluctuated up in temperature recently, spiking. Um, we need to take into consideration that all of this radioactivity being released from Fukushima and Japan into the ocean every second of every day all produces heat. This stuff is still creating fission, okay, which produces heat. Heating up the Pacific Ocean, changing the, t uh, the climate, the whole bit. I mean, we've got a big, big, big problem here. And everything's adding up. The insanity continues. Prestigious group of international scientists interested in risk to West Coast from Fukushima radioactive plume. Major concern for public health of coastal communities. Bioaccumulation potential in region must be understood. They can't hide it anymore. They can't hide it. It's here. It's in our face. It's been in our face. This town is dead. Local feels Fukushima plant could explode any minute. Yearly safe radiation levels exceeded in a matter of a few hours. TV Fukushima evacuees complain of health problems. Nearly 70% of households affected. They're forcing these people back. 
NHK officials admit it may be impossible to stop leaking at Fukushima reactors. All this produces heat, pumping into the Pacific every second of every day. We'll be investigating bottom of containment vessels for holes three years later. Government asking engineers from outside Japan for help with melted fuel. It's been in the ground for three years. Good luck, boys. Good luck. Japan TV radioactive release was up to 500 times larger than thought for Fukushima reactor. Surprising surge in radiation levels before explosions. Our understanding of what happened at plant is very limited. There's a video attached with this story. I highly advise you watch it. Basically, uh, what they do for nuclear power plants is they pump steam into cold water, and that steam shrinks and catches the radioactivity so the bubbles don't make it to the surface kind of thing. Well... At Fukushima, that water was hot, and then when they raised the temperature of this water and produced the steam, it just bubbled right up to the surface, which released a lot more radiation. Uh, USA Today, radiation tripled in some albacore tuna off west coast after Fukushima. Bioaccumulating in bones, not only in flesh. Additional exposures to plume could further increase radiation levels. NOAA funded study to expand after significant findings. And the NOAA is just another alphabet soup. We're not going to get crap that they don't want us to know out of them. Uh, the tricky thing about this story is, is uh, albacore tuna is such a small percentage of the tuna you get caught and we consume um, every year, only like 5% of the total catch, and they did a very limited run on these tuna. So the games continue, and they're still going to juggle, and we're never really going to know the true numbers because these guys just keep going on and on and on with the lie. That's about all I got for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or your videos down below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. The people in Thanks. charge of a nuclear facility in southwestern Japan may be one step closer to resuming operations. The Sendai nuclear power plant in Kagoshima Prefecture has entered the final stage of a new safety screening process. Kyushu Electric Power Company operates the Sendai plant. Executives have submitted a revised report to regulators outlining the safety measures they're adopting. They include raising the maximum possible level of tremors and tsunami from earthquakes. All of Japan's 48 commercial reactors have been offline. The utilities that operate them must pass new safety standards. Regulators imposed them after the Fukushima nuclear accident three years ago. The reactors at the Sendai plant will likely be the first to gain approval to resume operations. Regulators plan to complete a safety assessment for the plant by the end of May, and approval could come as early as the end of June. We want to try our best to resume operations by the summer. But there's still more that needs to be done. Work to reinforce the facility against tsunami has yet to be completed, and regulators still need to perform on-site inspections. The operator must also gain the consent of local government leaders to get the plant running again. <laughs> World Health Organization have sounded another alarm about so-called superbugs. They warn strains of bacteria resistant to drugs have spread to every corner of the globe, and they say antibiotics could eventually become useless. Researchers analyzed data on seven kinds of bacteria submitted by authorities from 114 countries. Their report highlighted the dangers to hospital patients. It says in parts of the Americas, up to 90 percent of a kind of staph infection are resistant to one class of drugs. And it says antibiotics for the bacteria that causes pneumonia proved ineffective in more than half of patients in many African countries. The researchers are calling on public health officials to develop common approaches and to share information on resistance. They say health professionals must find new ways to treat infected patients.
Thousands of people have celebrated the opening of this year's tourist season at the gateway to Japan's northern Alps. Some 3,000 people were at the opening event to wish for the safe arrival of as many visitors as possible. Shinto priests offered a ritual prayer. Kamikochi sits on a plateau about 1,500 meters above sea level. It attracts around a million and a half visitors annually. This year's first tourists caught a glimpse of snow on the Hotaka mountain range. Others got creative on the riverbank, capturing the scene in their own unique way. It's so beautiful and the air is so clean here. There's not much snow left, so I'm looking forward to some mountaineering. A local community leader says he hopes plenty of tourists will visit the area to savor the beautiful alpine environment. The 2020 Tokyo Olympic Games are just six years away, and the Japanese Olympic Committee is already making preparations for the event. An athlete training program is set to launch earlier than usual as part of efforts to win more medals for the host country. In the past, the JOC has started athlete training just after the end of the Games to allow four years of preparations for the next Olympics. For 2020, Japan has set a target of getting the third most gold medals of any country, or 20 to 33 top prizes. Another goal is for at least one Japanese athlete to place in the top eight in every sport. The JOC will officially launch the project on May 8th. A study just published by the United States government reports the discovery that low-dose radiation is so safe, evacuations from future nuclear disasters may be unnecessary. If another event like Fukushima occurs, the public could be allowed to live in the fallout zones, spared from the inconvenience of relocation and compensation for damages. Yeah. I'll probably put music over it. Eh. Go ahead and shoot it. <laughs>